Hey everyone, this is Karan here. You're welcome to Tech Karan YouTube channel. I am back with a new video and a new topic as always. And in this video, we are going to take a look at the review of AOSP Extended Custom Room available for Redmi Note 8. This custom room is based on Android 9. Android version 9 which means Android Pie but the security patch which you had is the latest one 5th of March 2020 this is the latest build by ASP extended team this is not the actual official build this is the unofficial build as you can see ASP extended 6.7 unofficial but this build is very good I am using this room from past 24 hours and fully satisfied with this room almost everything is working I will try to show you everything in this video so make sure you watch this video till the end what is the geek event score Google camera everything so let's get straight to the video now okay so as always first of all let we take a look at the launcher the launcher what you default which default you get is pixel launcher and quick step launcher I'm using pixel launcher but swipe down gesture will not work because the pixel launcher is from Android 9 Android 9 does not have the swipe down gesture but swiping right you get the Google feed which is perfectly working which is very good looking also and swiping down you can see these quick setting tiles also you can see these tiles have some extra animations you can see some additional animations which you can add or remove from the settings option you can change the style of these quick settings when you click on edit you have these extra options one hand mode compass usb tethering gaming mode reboot option is available fonts option is available always on display almost all things are available also when you click here you can change the columns, columns, landscape, rules, rules, landscape, per columns, labels, resets, etc. These are the options you get here. Now, let's take a look at some other things. What is the Geekbench score? I will try to show you first thing is what is the Geekbench score? The Geekbench score which you get here is not that much bad but very good. 304 is the single core score and 1357 is the multi core score which is a very good score as you are using custom room based on Android 9 for our Redmi Note 8 and custom rooms also I'm rooted so this is the score which you get by in Geekbench score what is other thing what are the other things working like Google camera is working or not I'm using this Google camera clicking photos perfectly without any issues at all when you click on portrait portrait mode is also working the one thing which you have to notice is video video will not work I don't know why but video recording is not working this is a bug couldn't record video etc whenever you click on camera it is working perfectly portrait working perfectly night side working perfectly even more panorama photosphere everything is perfectly working but video mode is not working that's the issue so this is the one bug which you get in this custom room you have to compromise with that and uh, everything else is perfectly working ANX camera is there just simply go click photos 48 megapixel camera is perfectly working and uh, wide angle camera this one this is perfectly working you can see wide angle is just seriously great this is the normal cam with 1x zoom and this one is the macro one this is also perfectly working so almost bugless but portrait mode is not working in this case for portrait shots you can use google camera if you want and for other wide angle and 48 megapixel camera shots you can use anx camera if you want which is a very very good thing ai mode is available which you can a on which you can enable from here hdr mode is available which you can enable from here these are the settings these are the very good things positive things you get in this room now let's take a look at some other things like uh, some settings of some main highlights of this custom room settings network internet everything is same battery when you go to display you have these options adaptive brightness color settings you can adjust the color settings to reading mode if you want on you can see the colors are changed now color calibration option is available another good thing ambient display is available is it working or not i didn't test it yet it is perfectly working as you can see ambient display is working another very good positive thing finally so this one is also not a bug very good thing again double tap to wake this one is system themes 
you can allow the subsystem themes and fonts alongside substratum if you want to use substratum themes you can use substratum themes also in this room you can use these ui light ui dark black extended chocolate and elegant these are the extra ui things ui styles you get you can also change the ascent color whichever you like like if you want to choose red or type of orange you can go and you can see everything is changed the quick settings will be changed now yeah this one now very good thing again so extra customization options are available quick setting tiles these one i have chosen this one if you want to choose any other one like let us suppose this you can choose this and here it is you can see everything is there everything is working without any issues at all font is there extra fonts options are available whichever you like you can choose according to your own font size display size smallest width these are the options you get also you can see i'm using gestures which are working perfectly this option is available in this room also i'm not using any third party app in this room as always security and location you get the pattern lock and fingerprints available option and uh, this room does not come along with google apps so you have to install google apps package and whichever package you flash you will get the face lock option there if you flash i think the higher package in my case you can see trusted case trusted face and i'm using mini package that's why i got trusted face which is perfectly working i don't use regularly this option but this option is perfectly working i have used one time that at that time it was working perfectly and at last other things are same let's take a look at some extra features of this custom room extensions status bar notification panel navigation recent lock screen and system i will start with system now at last we will get app ops whichever apps whichever permissions you want to a lot to which app you can customize from here and it will show you every app's permission which it is allowing now gaming mode is available which you can go and enable here these are the extra things which you can customize whenever you want to play games in buttons you have the power menu option which you can customize from here so you can enable the advanced restart option screenshot option or disable also volume panel option is available which you can which you can customize from here you can add the ring option to the volume panel also it to the left side of the screen which is another very good thing and playback control volume rocker rig etc animations you have extra animation options are available also wallpaper close wallpaper open move to back move to front task close activity close open screen off these are the other things you get at last in general tweaks you have the three finger gesture available which is perfectly working as you can see and now let's take a look at lock screen you have the option of face auto unlock if you set up already a face lock and after face unlock your device will automatically unlock you don't have to swipe up for that fingerprint authentication vibration other things are same ambient music ticker is available you can this one use this which is a very good thing another very good thing positive thing lock screen visual user option is available let's take a look at some other things recents you can change the recents ui to pi or oreo whichever you like i didn't it didn't matter for me navigation bar you can enable from here i already have disabled as you can see i'm using gesture option which you can enable from here these are the one plus gestures actually okay notification panel you can change the quick settings general tweaks like brightness slider on bottom brightness slider adaptive brightness etc quick setting footer warnings etc and uh, notifications you have the option of noisy notifications if screen on if you want to disable it you can disable it is a very good thing smart notification sounds if you want to uh, you, if you want to play the notification sound of each app only once per 10 seconds per 30 seconds per minute or per 2 minutes you can change this according to your own preference which is a very good thing again again as always heads up notifications are available whichever you like you can use and at last vibrate on connect and vibrate on disconnect at last status bar you have the option to enable or disable the status bar items whichever you like on your screen also you can see volt icon is there it means volt is perfectly working without any issues at all clock settings status bar battery style you can choose like i am using q style battery you can choose this one to portrait circle dotted circle at sector 2 traffic indicators carrier label miscellaneous extensions ax logo if you want it on your status bar you can enable it from here 4G icon, VoLTE icon and these are the at last all the things you get here. This was the settings, this was all on the settings. 
so this was all from the all the review i hope you already know how to install this room the installation is very simple so just go and install it as a custom room like other rooms so this was all from today's video i hope you like it thanks for watching goodbye see you in the next video soon